Okay, we have our tan nice integral from the MIT integration B from 2024. This is problem 18. We have the integral from zero to one of the sum from n equals zero to 2024 of x to the two to the n minus 1012 dx. Okay, now to get started with this, the first thing I wanna deal with is just this idea that we've got a series inside of the integral. And what I wanna do is kind of expand this out to get a better feel for it. So I'm gonna just start looking at terms and we're gonna start at n equals zero and just kind of plug in and see what happens. So for this first term, if I plug a zero in here, this is gonna be x to the two to the zero minus 1,012, so this is gonna be minus one, 1,012. And then for the next term, when we have n equal to one, we're gonna have x to the two minus 10, 11. Then I think I'll do one more, so then we'll have x to the two, n equal to two is gonna give me minus 10, 10 here. And then of course, this is gonna just keep going on and on, but I'll write the last few negative terms so when we're up at like, let's say 10, 10, when n is 10, 10, this is gonna become x to the two to the minus two. And then the next one, we're gonna have x to the two to the minus one. And then finally, when we get all the way to this point where n is equal to 10, 12, we're gonna get here, this is gonna be x to the two, then this exponent's gonna become zero. But then with two to the zero in the exponent, that's just one, so I can just leave this and write this as just x. Then I'll continue on down here. Now when n is gonna be 10, 13, then down here we're gonna have x to the two. If we plug 10, 13 in here, this exponent becomes one. We're gonna have two to the one or just two here. I'll write it as two to the one. Then when n's 10, 14, we're gonna have, this is gonna become x to the two to the two. 10, 14 minus 10, 12 is just a two there. Then we'll just, this is gonna go on and on and on. But I'll do these last three terms here. So this is gonna be x to the two to the 10, 10 here. That's gonna be when this is like 2022. And then at 2023, we're gonna get x to the two, 10, 11. And then here for this last one, when n is 2024, the exponent here is gonna become 10, 12. So we have x to the two to the 10, 12. But now the reason I write it up this way is sometimes when you have a long series like this, it's nice to be able to group like common terms. So what I'm gonna do is try to group and work like just this together and we'll try to work these together, and we'll just do everything with the common exponent, just with the minus, the reverse sign on it. Because just keep in mind this whole expanded sum, we could put this back into the integral, we could write out 2025 terms, but then because it's integral, we could split this into 2025 separate integrals. So now what I'm gonna do here to try to get some simplification is I'm just gonna look at one of these pairs, and we'll put it back into the integral, like let's just take this first one, and we're integrating from zero to one. And so just these two, this is gonna be x, to the two times to the 10, 12 plus x to the two to the minus 10, 12. But now what I really wanna do with this integral is generalize it for all of these pairs. So instead of having this exponent two to the 10, 12 here, let's get rid of this and we'll just give it a generic label. We'll just call this A. But now in each of these cases, when you have the negative exponent, this is just gonna be the reciprocal. So I can remove this one as well. And then I can rewrite this exponent as one over A. But because a and one over a are both constant values, I can just use power rule on this and integrate. So integrating this first one, we're gonna have x to the a plus one over a plus one. And for the second one, we're gonna have x to the one over a plus one over one over a plus one. But now we'll go ahead and just evaluate this thing. And you'll notice when we plug zero in here with x's in the numerator, everything's zero. So all we need to do is plug in one here, but one to anything is gonna be one. So for the first term, we just end up with one over a plus one. And then again, this is also gonna be just one in the numerator, so this is gonna be one over one over a plus one. But now I think we can simplify this a little more. If I just multiply through by a here in the denominator, I'll multiply by a in the numerator, so I'm not changing it. Now when we do that, let's just bring over this first piece. We're gonna still have this one over a plus one here. When we multiply a in here to the numerator, this is just gonna be an a. Multiplying a times one over a, that's just gonna be one and then a times one is gonna be just a. But now we have a common denominator, so we can just add these together. So in the numerator, we're gonna have a plus one, and then I'll reverse the order and we'll just write the denominator, a plus one, but that's gonna cancel, and this is just gonna give us one. But now because we'd be able to simplify this all the way to one, it doesn't matter what the exponent is, it doesn't matter if we have 10, 12, or 10, 10, or two, or whatever, each one of these pairs is gonna just have the value of one all the way down to here and here. So now all I really need to do is just sum up all of this stuff here, but this is pretty easy because we know each pair is just one, and the terms start at one here, two, three, 
all the way up to 10, 12. So we actually have 10, 12 terms here. So all we need to do is multiply 10, 12 times one, and this piece is gonna be 10, 12, but we can't forget we still have this X hanging around out here. So in order to finish this off, I just need to integrate X. So I'll just come down here and we'll do that. But this is again, just gonna be power rule. So we integrate X and we get X squared over two. We need to evaluate that from zero to one, but that's just gonna be one half. So for our final solution, I just need to add this piece to this piece. So we're adding 10, 12 plus one half. I can get a common denominator and write this as 224 over two plus one half. And so for my final solution, we're just gonna get 2025 over two. Okay, there you have it. Fun problem from MIT 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.